Hello friends, welcome back to Learn Etiquette Tutorials. This is our 10th video in our Jenkins tutorial series, in which I am going to talk about Jenkins distributed architecture, how that will help our build system and its use cases. And also we will see how to set up Jenkins slave node and how do we connect with Jenkins master and the different ways of launching the Jenkins slave. Links related to this tutorial series and documents will be mentioned in the description. You can make use of it. And these are the topics we have covered throughout this series. Also, we'll add more topics in the future. Before getting into the topic, just a small request to those who are watching this video. For the first time, we have already uploaded a lot of videos and tutorial series on different technologies. Please have a look. If you are interested in learning, then do subscribe now and click near the bell icon for more interesting and useful videos. Let's get started. What is Jenkins Distributed Architecture? As the name says, this architecture will help us to distribute the build and deployment loads across multiple Jenkins nodes. Here you will have a Jenkins master and this is going to be the main server that will manage the entire build system. It will schedule the jobs, it will monitor the jobs and manage the build end-to-end -end job management. On the other end, you will have multiple Jenkins slave nodes or you can call it as a Jenkins agents. These machines that will execute the build jobs and these agents can be set up on different servers like it might be a virtual machine or physical machines or containers, even it is a Docker container or on Kubernetes pods. So they will connect to the master to get instructions and report back the status of the build. For example, on Jenkins master, you may have a different jobs, job one, job two, job three, and many other. Based on the project requirement, we can have multiple slaves. For example, if job one is a kind of a job that will run only on Linux, on that case, we can build or set up a Linux agent. If the job two, is a kind of job that will run only on Windows machines. On that case, we can build a Windows agent. This is where the Jenkins distributed architecture will help us to schedule or distribute the load across multiple nodes. So this is my Jenkins console where I'm going to add a new Jenkins agent or Jenkins slave. In order to launch a Jenkins slave node, Jenkins will support three kind of launching method. One is through SSH and other one is through administrative account and the other one is Java web start. So on your agent, if you have any of these kind of support, then you can connect that particular agent with your Jenkins master. For example, if I have a Linux machine, then I can go with SSH launching method. If I have a Windows machine, I can go with administrative account. So these are different ways how do we connect or how do we launch our agent from the Jenkins master. So I have a Jenkins slave 1 that is installed with Ubuntu 20. Since it is a Linux slave, I will prefer to go with SSH connection. So first thing to set up this Jenkins slave, we should have a connectivity between master node to my slave node. Then we need to configure a SSH key and that has to be deployed on the slave node so that my master will be able to make a connection to the slave node through SSH without passwordless authentication. Then finally, I need to install a Java package because Jenkins is written on Java. So Java is a dependency for Jenkins slave as well. Already I have a connection between master and slave. All right. Now we'll configure the SSH key. Since we are going to make the connection from Jenkins master one to slave one, we need to create SSH key from the master. All right. Already I have logged in with the user called Jenkins, and I need to create a Jenkins user on slave as well. Let me create a user called Jenkins on slave. All 
all right now we have jenkins user on both master one and slave one now i will create the ssh key from the master one using the command called ssh keygen now under ssh directory you will have two files one is public key and other one is a private key and we need to copy this public key content to the slave in the file name called authorized keys or you can use the command ssh copy id this will copy the public key directly to your slave node we need to specify the username where do you want to deploy this key and the target address that is our slave node ip it's prompting me to enter the jenkins user password that's it the key is added to slave let's check the connection between master to slave using the ssh command as we have deployed the ssh key the password should not be asked perfect we have logged into jenkins slave which means the ssh key deployment is success now on the slave we need to install the java package using apt command search for the package called open jdk and find the version which are available on your repository okay here i have open jdk 8 21 17 16 we have more number of version so i will go with um 17 not to lower or higher versions app get install package name all right after the installation is completed check the installed java version using java command so open jdk version 17 is installed let's go to jenkins console and we'll add a new slave node so this is my jenkins console go to manage jenkins and there will be an option called nodes to manage so click on this node so this is the built in node that is our jenkins master if you add any additional node it will be listed over here in order to manage your nodes there will be in settings we can configure the node let's go back to nodes let me add new node on this node name you can give any meaningful name for your node slave one and click on this permanent agent create this is the page where you configure your node so this is the name you have provided and here you can specify any description and number of executors and this executor is nothing but the number of jobs can be scheduled to this node and this is based on the cpu cores if you have a four core then you can define the executor as four even if you click on this question mark it will give you the detailed informations let it be one for now and remote root directory i have created the user called jenkins on slave so my user home directory would be under home if you have anything different just provide your home directory so that when you launch the agent it will look for the ssh key under this home directory the next one is labels if this node can be scheduled for multiple reasons for example this node can be assigned only for specific application called i media or any other applications or if it is a specifically for environment something like development then you can specify the label called development because these labels will be used when you scheduling jobs for example i will give i media because this node is dedicatedly i am going to assign only for i media jobs now the usage type this is another important option how do you want this launch to be behaved for example i have two options one is use this node as much as possible another one is only build job with 
label expression matching this node. If I go with use this node as much as possible, all my agents which are configured with use this node as much as possible, then all these labels will be available all the time. So the jobs will be scheduled to any available nodes. The second option is only build jobs with label expression matching this node. On this case, this particular node will be launched only when a job matching with this label. Until then, this node will not be launched or used. The other option is launch method. How do you launch this node? Launch agent by connecting to the controller, launch agent via execution of command on the controller and launch agents via SSH. And as we planned, I am going to use this launch agent via SSH. Now we need to provide the host name or host IP. I will go with host IP. This is my slave node IP credentials. How do we connect this master to slave? All right. Already we have deployed our SSH key, but still we need to provide the private key. For that, I need to add a credential. I'll click on add, then Jenkins. On this kind, I will go with SSH username with private key. Here on this ID, you can give some meaningful name. Okay, here on username, we need to specify the exact username to make the SSH connection. And here on this private key, you can add the private key that is generated. Just copy this private key and paste it on this form. That's it. If you have passphrase while generating the key, just provide the value. If not, just click on add. Now host key verification strategy, it is a verification strategy on SSH sent. So let it be the default known host file verification. Availability, keep this agent online as much as possible. Bring this agent online according to your schedule. Bring this agent online when in demand and take offline when ideal. These are how do you want the agent to be available. You can keep it offline only when the job is triggered, then this will become active. All right. So let me go with the first option I'll click on save and here it is listing all the nodes. Now click on this node here it is showing that our agent is offline because the Jenkins failed to launch the agent process. See this log identify why it is not launched. Okay. The selected credential not found because I have added the credential but not selected it. So again. Go to this node slave one and go to configure here on this credential let's select the jenkins slave one private key now click on save now the node is being launched go to nodes it is launching so we have successfully added a jenkins slave to the jenkins master node now how do we schedule the jobs to this node and we have use the option called build this node with label expression not we have used the option called use this node as much as possible okay if we have selected the first option then the jobs will be scheduled to this node all the time when it is free now we have selected the second option that is matching the label so let me go to any jobs and we'll show you how do we schedule it so this is one job I media dev build click on configure here on this general section there would be an option called restrict to where this project can be run click on this here we need to define the label of the node the label of the node is I media and here as per this label it matches to one node if you have multiple it will list over here so this particular job will be running only on this node that is matched this label. If I didn't select this option, what will happen? This job will be running on my master node. If that is already occupied, then that will go to the other slave node. But in this case, I have used the label expression. 
So click on save. Let me build this job and it is a parameterized job. So it is prompting me to enter the server name. Let it be Ansible 1. Click on build. Now you see the build. The build number is 17 and it is waiting for the available executor on slave 1. Click on refresh. The job is completed. Let me click on this build number 17. Go to console output to make sure where it has run. Here, if you see, this job is remotely, building remotely on slave 1. This is what I have expected because I have defined the label expression. So this is how we schedule a job to be running on specific nodes. That's it for this video. Hope you have got an idea what is Jenkins distributed architecture and how do we add a Jenkins slave node to the master node. And finally, we have seen how do we schedule the jobs for the specific nodes. See you in the next video. Till then, keep practicing and have fun. How did you feel? Is it helpful? Appreciate our efforts in the comment section below. Hit like button, share with your friends about us, subscribe our channel to get further updates, stay connected with us on social networking sites. For more free tutorials, visit our website www.lanetiguide.net.